everyone and welcome back to the third part of our behind the scenes look in the museum collection at Zion National Park. My name is Amy McKinney and I'm a museum technician here, which means that I'm responsible for documenting and taking care of all of our museum collections, both the things that are on exhibit and the things that we have here in our storage area. So this is the third part of our series, as I mentioned, and what we're going to be talking about today is Mission 66 and modern park history. So Mission 66 was a National Park Service wide initiative in response to um, crowding and increased travel after the Second World War. Um, parks needed updated infrastructure. Um, so this concept of Mission 66 was created in 1955 as a 10 year program to um, develop park infrastructure before the 50th anniversary of the National Park Service. And Zion participated in this program through the development of a new Mission 66 Visitor Center. Here we've pulled out one of the original blueprints for the Visitor Center, which is now the Zion Human History Museum. Um, but you can see it has that authentic blue color of a blueprint. And we maintain blueprints for many of our historic buildings here in the park because they help us in case anything ever needs to be updated or there's maintenance work to be done, we can go back and see that original structure. So here I've pulled out an example from our archival collections of a Mission 66 Frontiers Conference that was held at Grand Canyon. And this was a big planning meeting on how they were going to um, implement all of these updates to the National Park Service. So Zion has a very large archival collection um, and if you don't know what that means, one way I like to think about it is that archives are the 2D paper objects and museum items are the 3D objects. Um, so we take care of both here in our museum facility, but a lot of what we do have are paper records that document the history of the park. And so I mentioned the construction of the visitor center, but here we also have a postcard from when it was completed. Um, and on the back, um, it mentions that you can see West Temple to the left and the majestic formations that surround the park entrance. So over here, we've pulled out some things that document more modern times in Zion. So here we have, um, part of a warm-up suit that was worn in the 2002 Olympic torch relay. So um, the torch ceremony, it traveled all the way from Greece. It was lighted and brought to the United States. It was first lit uh, by Muhammad Ali in Atlanta, and then it traveled over um, 20,000 miles or around 12,000 kilometers um, all the way to Salt Lake City. And on the way, it passed through Arches, Zion, and Bryce Canyon. So this is an example of the warm-up suits that um, the people who had the honor to carry the torch would have worn. Um, in front here, you'll see we have um, a Centennial Memories book. So this ledger was actually placed in the Zion Human History Museum, and people were able to write their thoughts when they visited in the Centennial year of 2016. Um, so you may think, it's 2016, that's not very old, um, but 100 years from now, people will be able to look back and see how visitors in 2016 really were engaged with the park. Um, the next item that I have here is a Bighorn Sheep plush toy. Um, these are actually sold in the Zion Forever bookstore here in the park, um, and they help raise funds for the Adopt a Bighorn program. Well, once again, this doesn't seem like it belongs in a museum, but it really uh, documents how visitors are engaging with the park and how the park is being supported. And the final item that we have pulled out here um, is this photograph um, flag and medallion. So in 2010, um, this medallion that says Zion National Park traveled to the International Space Station on the Space Shuttle Endeavor. It traveled over 5 million miles um, to the space station and back. 
And so this medallion and the photograph of the crew um, is now part of our museum collection, documenting the public's love for the park. So thank you all for joining us um, in this three-part series, highlighting some of the lesser seen objects in our museum collection. And we're really excited to share this with you.